I think it's a mechanism that 99.9 .9 of folks really don't understand. A, a simple question for you is the revenue cap. Tur is related to the revenue cap. As we have this revenue cap in place, what would have been the effect on the dollars that went into TERS had we not had TERS and that money hit the revenue cap and go back to homeowners or commercial investing? We would have been unable to spend the money back into the city budget just as this council reduced tax rates. You would have had to reduce tax rates dollar for dollar for any of the dollars that are returned from the TERS. So the tune of how many millions of dollars well, Gwen, Gwen showed a number here of $87 million, I think, was the tax increment that uh, was spent in this year. That's how much taxes would have had to be reduced, and the city could not have done $200 million of capital projects. So a, a quick summation is, because of the revenue cap and the implementation of a TERS, without that, economic development opportunities, infrastructure opportunities would have decreased by roughly $87 million. About two hundred million. Two hundred million. That's, that's, just, that's just in one year. We have to, we would have hit the cap a whole lot sooner, so we'd have to go back and look. Got it. Thank you. Uh, the twenty four oh nine, the affordable housing fund, was that city created or state created? It's an accounting. It's an accounting function of the city. We, we, the the function is created by the state, but we just account it. So did the state way. mandate that certain twos and two tiers implemented after I think ninety nine? A portion of that money goes to affordable housing, or was that a city initiative? No, no from, the inception, uh, from the inception of the terms is uh, Chapter 311 requires, there's language in Chapter 311 that says if a terms is a petition terms, that it is required that one third be set aside as affordable housing. So that is a requirement by the state. So by the state of Texas. By the state of Texas. Okay. Yes, Has there ever been any discussion about allocating certain money through terms to any type of uh, outstanding debt obligations? Because I understand the how affordable housing component of it, but um, <coughs> it'd be interesting to see uh, incremental increase as it moves forward that's going to continue to go up um, to solve some of the debt issues that we have in the city. Uh, I understand the affordable housing, <coughs> but our biggest challenge is not only affordable housing, but pension obligations. Yeah, and I think that gets to Councilmember Laster's point that, if, that that would just discussion to be had by Council and then ultimately it would require legislation. Legislative action in Austin, private state. Right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Glenn.